doing great thanks all for your support thank you for coming back to watch my tutorials i hope they are really helpful in today's tutorial i'm going to be showing you how to make a circle skirt it's a very simple skirt um with a band so i'll show you how i cut it and i will try and see if i can make a video of how i sew it if not i will just cut it show you how to cut it and just um direct you on how to sew it and i'll put the finishing skirt afterwards thanks guys and i will show you the fabric that we'll be using for the skirt as well okay oh so this is the fabric we'll be using we'll be using this beautiful um, disc ankara print and we'll be needing a lining a black lining as well and of course you need a measurement tape your scissors fabric scissors and chalk you need a calculator because it's a circle skirt and your measurement the measurement is inside the book so we are going to start so the measurement that you need you need the waist measurement the length of the skirt measurement that's all you need because it's a circle skirt you don't need the hip so you just you need the waist and the length of the skirt that's all you need so we are going to start and this fabric we have a similar of this fabric in our website if you want to get one they are very good quality fabric 100 percent cotton and they come in six yard so this is for a client a customer so i'm going to make a circle skirt for her so you can buy yours in our website the website link is on top of the screen so you can buy yours in our website and we have other fabrics as well okay let me show you how i cut my circle skirt so what i do is i fold the fabric into triangle which i've already done on the lining i folded it into a triangle already so i folded it back and front together already I have folded back and front together already. So I folded it into four. This fabric, this one is folded into two first, then into triangle. So this is two. If I should cut it open, it will be two. And then I got this one that's making it three, and then this four. So it's folded into four at the moment. The fabric lining, this is the lining, poly cutting, black. So it's folded into four. Okay, so what I do first, I move the camera so you can see a bit more. So what I do first is, after I fold it into a triangle shape, I measure from the top point, I just measure seven, because you have to divide the person's waist by 6.28 so your waist divided by 6.28 it will give you the size that you want and then of course you can add some few inches for a zip maybe one inches or one and a half inches for a zip at the back if you decide to put the zip at the back or at the side i'm going to put the zip at the side so that i know that i don't have to bother putting zip at the back so i'll put the zip at the side of it so once you divide your waist by 6.28, then you mark it down. What I do is from the top first, I, may, I just mark from the top to 7. I mark 7. So from this 7 point, I mark the, I mark the waist measurement. So from here, from this point here, this measurement here from the top to here, that I mark seven, it's just a guideline for me to, because this part is too thin. If you look at it, it's too thin. I can't get the waist from here. So I just mark from here to this point where the shock is seven. So I can mark from this shock point to wherever the length of the, of the waist is. 
So the waist divided by 6.28 is 6.9 something. So I just run it to the nearest figure of 7. So from there I mark 7. So I mark 7 and I bring the shock. I just take a measurement tape rand into a circle, semi-circle shape. So I mark 7. Okay. So after that, I mark the length. It's going to have a bound. So I have minus 2 inches. I've taken two inches from the length of the skirt because it's going to be having a band. So what I do is I from here, from this point, which is the waist point, I measure the length. The length of the skirt is 24. So if you remove two inches, it's remaining 22. And you need um, half an inch to sew it on top. And then you need one and a half inches to sew it at the bottom. So that will give you um 22 23 24 all together so um one and a half inches at the bottom so that'll be 23 and a half half an inches at the top so that will be 24 inches all together so you just mark down 24 it depends on your length so you can you can mark down the length of your skirt so i just mark down 24 and you just take the tape, you see what I'm doing? You just take the tape from the waist, you form like a circle, you keep going around like a circle. Because when you cut it, you want it to come out as a circle shape. So I just keep going around. Just mark it all the way, the length you want. Mark it all the way to the length you want. Okay, so once you finish marking it, all you need to do now is to cut it out. Once you finish marking it, you cut it out. So you cut the waist out first and move the fabric down so you can see. Okay, so I'm going to cut the waist out first. So I've cut the waist out. That's the waist, it's a circle. So now I'm going to cut the length out. I move the fabric because my table is not a very wide. So I have to always move the fabric. Make sure when you fold the fabric is equal at the both side with your sewing allowance and zip allowance, everything. You don't really need a lot of sewing allowance in this skirt because you just need, I think it would be nicer, just my opinion, I think it's better to put the zip at the side so there's no joining at the back. So all the joining will be at the side. Okay, so I've cut it. I've cut it out. So I'm just going to open it because it's two pieces in here. So the front and the back is here. The front and the back is here. I don't know if you can see it. This is the, the line here. I'll cut the fabric so you can see it. So you can either divide it into two. This is the side that doesn't have any cut. This side has a cut, a opening. Can you see it? So this is the side that I'm going to be putting the zip. I'm going to be putting the zip on this side. So if you want, if you feel you don't feel comfortable, or your fabric is not enough, instead of cutting it the way I have cut it, you can cut it one at a time. You cut one first, and then you cut the other one so which means you are going to have seam at both side but in this case i'm only going to be having a seam just at this side just one side and i will put the zip there so it will be at the side so i'm going to take this one and cut the fabric so this is my lovely fabric
So I take it and cut. I use it to cut. I use the lining as a template to cut this. Okay, uh, everybody. Okay, okay. Also, uh, what I've done, I have folded the fabric into a triangular shape, just like what I did for the lining. I folded it into a triangular shape as well, as you can see. I folded it into a triangular shape as well. Let me move the fabric so you can see. Can you see that it's a triangular shape? So, I'm just going to cut it. So, I'm going to be cutting it out. So, what I'm doing here now is I'm using the lining as a pattern to cut the fabric. So, I folded it into a triangular shape. If you can see, I folded it into a triangular shape. So, I'm going to be cutting it out now. And then I'm going to cut the bottom as well. Okay, so I've cut it out. Because this side is excess, the side, you can see that there's too much fabric here, so I'm going to trim this off. I swear, if not, it's become too much. So I'm going to trim it off. I'm only going to be trimming it off only on one side. I'm going to trim it off at one side because I don't want to cut this side opened. So by the time I open it out, hopefully it will be the same. So I'm just trimming it off at one side because it's too much excess. Okay, so I've cut it now. I've cut the main fabric and I've cut the lining. So this is how it's looking. At the moment, I don't know if you guys can see it, but I've cut it out. So what I'm going to do now is, I'm going to cut the waistband. So this is how it looks like when it's cut out. I, f I folded it into two, so it's a triangular shape triangular shape so if when you open it it's more fuller it's more of a flare when you open it out because this is the waist sewing allowance and the zip allowance everything is in there so what I'm going to do next is I'm going to cut the waistband I'm only going to use the fabric to cut the waistband once I cut the waistband I'm going to be using fusible interfacing um, the fabric one. This is a fabric iron on um, fusible interfacing. So I will iron it on the waistband. So how I cut my waistband, I cut it just similar to the way I've cut the skirt. Okay, everyone. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you how I cut the waistband. This is the fabric I cut out of the top. If you remember, out of the top of the skirt, when it was folded like this, I cut this out of the top. You can see it? So I'm going to use this to cut the waistband. So to cut the waistband, I open the, the skirt out. When I open the skirt out, 
I measured it. I measured it. And it gave me about 25. So what I'm going to do is 25 divided into 2. So what I do, I take my measurement tape, or you can take your calculator. So I divide 25 into 2. 12.5. So it's giving me 12.5. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to measure this round circle here. The reason why I'm using this part is because the waist, I'm going to cut it into like a bias. Because I don't want to cut a long strip. It's not going to shape into the waist properly. You know, our waist is not straight. Our waist is, is a kind of a curve. So the best way to cut your waistband is to cut it in the bias shape. And folding the fabric into triangle, it's already cut into a bias. So cut already. That's why you can see that I got a bit of a stretch there. You see that? So that allows the waistband to lie flat on your waist when you are wearing knit. If you cut it in the form of a circle, because you are going to put it on a circle. So it's good to cut it in the form of a circle shape as well. So I'm going to be using two inches for the waistband because I've already removed the two inches from the skirt earlier on. So I'm going to be using it for the waistband. So I need three inches because I need half an inches to sew it to the skirt. And then I'm going to be cutting two of the waistband back and front. I'm going to be cutting two. So I'm going to be joining it at the top with half an inches. So that's why I need three inches. Stay tuned. Okay, so I'm going to measure three inches. I'm going to measure three inches. So I measure here, it's already giving me 12 and a half. So I'm going to be measuring three inches now. So I just do the same. See, I take the measurement tape, put it there. I hope you can see what I'm doing. Let me turn it this way. Maybe you can see better. So I'm going to measure. I'm starting from the folded edge. The edge is not cut. So three inches. I measure it three inches down. So I just cut it in form of the circle shape as well. So you measure three inches and cut it in form of the circle shape. You just use your free hand it if you can. So I cut it out. So I'm going to cut another of this. So when you open it out, this is how it looks like when you open it out. So if you open it out again, that's just one opening. This is the other opening. This is the other opening. So when it goes into the waist, it will just lie flat. When you sew it to the waist, it just lie flat. So I will cut another of this one. After I finish cutting it, I'm going to be putting the fusible interface in or we iron it in on it. So let me cut the other one. Let me cut one more. I don't think this is going to be enough now, so I will need to take another fabric and cut another one. So I'll just take the fabric, it's still folded. I have unfolded, so I'm still folded, folded like a triangle shape still. So I just take this one that I have cut and use it as a template to cut the second one. So I place it this way. And then I'll just cut it out as well.
Okay, so I've cut the other one out. So what I will do next is I will iron the fusible interfacing on them and then I will sew them together at the top. And then after that, after that I will take the skirt, I will take the skirt and open the skirt out, sew the waistband all the way from the beginning to the end and then I fold it back. When I fold it back, I measure the waist to make sure the waist, I get the accurate waist measurement. And then I'll sew my zip allowance from the top of the band. I'll sew my zip allowance closed. I normally like to sew my zip allowance closed. I sew it all the way down. I sew my zip allowance to wherever I want it to, be, to, to stop, the length of the zip I want to use. I backstitch it and then I continue, I sew it all the way down. But before then, I'll take the lining. I'm going to use the lining to turn, to turn the fabric so that I won't have to hem the bottom. So I will use the lining to turn the skirt. So what I do is the lining, I'm going to shorten the lining. I'm going to cut one inches off the lining because I don't want the lining to show through the fabric at the bottom. So I've already marked the one inches. So I'm going to cut this one inches off. So when I use it to turn, when I use it to turn the fabric, it won't show, it will stay inside. So that's what I'm going to, to do. So when I finish sewing it, I'll come and show you how it looks like. Hello all, hope you're all doing well. Um, I hope you guys remember, I don't know if you guys still remember the skirt I, sh I cut earlier on. I just want to quickly show you what I have done um, to it because I don't want the video to be too long. So I've already gone ahead to sew it. So I'm not able to show you the um, sewing part because if not, the video is going to be too long. So what I have done so far is this is the whole skirt. As you can see, I haven't joined it anywhere yet. What I have done is rather, I have taken the lining, I have torn it, I've sewn it and then torn it out. If you can see, this is the lining, this is the fabric. So what I have done is that I have taken the lining, I've stitched it right side to right side. I flip it over to the other side. So let's see if I can separate it into two again. So what I did is I took the lining and I put it like this. I put it together. So I put it like this. So you can sew it at the bottom. So I sew it at the bottom. And then I turn it out like this. Remember I told you guys I was going to shorten the lining by one inches. So the lining is shorter by one inches to the fabric. So when you sew it, you see? So that when you sew it, the fabric is showing rather than the lining showing. So this is the fabric, this is the lining inside. So I've sewed it all the way around. I only cut it in one piece because I want it to have just one joining. It's a circle skirt. I don't want it to have two joining. So I've sewn the lining inside, as you can see. Sewn the lining inside. So that's the lining I just showed you, and this is the fabric. This is the fabric. So what I've also done as well, I've cut the waistband. I think I show you guys how I cut the waistband. So I've cut the waistband and I've also ironed the iron on fusible interface, the fabric one. I've ironed it to the waistband and the, the waistband is in two piece. The waistband is a two piece. So this is the first one. I'm going to stitch the other one on top of this one. And then I will use it to cover the raw edge. So once I stitch the other waistband, this is the waistband, I've stitched it all the way to the end of the skirt. So this is the other end of the skirt. This is the skirt, as you can see. So I've stitched it all the way to the waist. This is the waist at the bottom here. I've stitched at the bottom. Then the top is going to be the actual waist of the person. So once I sew the other part of the band to this part, I will turn it in and use it to cover this raw edge here. 
so i used to cover it and and after that i'm going to come right side to right side like this and then i'm going to stitch it all the way down i'm going to stitch it all the way down and then put a zip and that's the end of the skirt so i'm going to do that and i will come and show you guys what i have done and then show you the finish skirt as well stay tuned okay also uh, what i have done i'm going to quickly just show you what i've done with the waistband the second waistband let me unpin this just unpin a couple more so what this is what i have done to the second waistband so i have stitched it to the first one this was the first one so i stitched it half an inches on the top section not at the, not at the where the skirt is at the top so I join it all the way to the end and then I understitch it. If you can see, it got two stitches. One is the main stitches I used to attach it to the line, to the first waistband. And then the second one is the understitching stitch. So I've understitched it all the way to the end. And then what I'm doing now is I'm just pinning it. I'm going to move the camera down so you can see very well. So I'm just pinning it. If you can see, I have pinned, in this case, you need a pin, you need to pin it. I have pinned it all the way. If you can see what I'm showing you, I have pinned it, pinned the waistband to the inside. This is the inside. Remember I said I was going to use this other waistband to cover the raw edges. So it's what I'm doing. I have pinned it, you can see the pin there. I've pinned it all the way to the end. This is the end. I've pinned it. I've pinned it. I'm just going to show you how I fold it. So what I do is I fold it in because you know the waistband is like a, a curve. So I fold I fold it in maybe like about almost one inches in. I fold it in and I put it on top. I used to cover the raw edge. This is the raw edge of the skirt here. This is the first waistband. This is the second one here. This is the first one. So I'm pushing it in. And I'm taking this one to cover it just like so and then I take a pin I take a pin and then I pin it I pin it so it stays in place so I continue I make sure I put the raw edge in and then I take this one to cover the raw edge I cover it and then I take a pin I use the pin to hold it so it doesn't move so that when I want to sew it it's not going to be moving so this is what I have done so I'm going to put a pin here put a pin there then I pin it so you can see that I have pinned the whole the whole of it so now I'm going to sew it in the machine so the machine is just here. Let me move the camera a bit. So I'm going to stitch it. So as I sew, I'm going to be removing the pin. As I sew along, I'll remove the pin. So make sure you pin it first. Because when you pin it, it's easy for you to sew the band. You can see I'm just removing the pin and I'm just sewing so it's, it's much much easier that way. So you just sew it until you get to the end. As you sew, you make sure you are not sewing mistakenly sewing the skirt. You can see I've sewed this is the right side of the skirt. So when you're sewing, try not to sew this to the band. If not, you have to lose it and start all over again. 
so make sure nothing is cashing on the band when you are sewing it so this is the right side of the band this is the wrong side of the band the understitching makes the band the inside band to stay in as you can see it makes it lap properly that's why i always use understation you can see the inside band is in if you don't understitch it sometimes it will look like the this band want to be showing on the right side so the understation push it inside it makes it the band the inside band to remain inside so you can always see the front band so i'll just continue to sew to the end Okay, I've stitched to the end now. So when you get to the end, when you get to the end, if you have excess like this, you just trim it off. Because remember the waistband is cut in the curve. So sometimes you get a little excess like this. So all you need to do is just take a scissors and trim it off. And then if you have the same on the other end, just take a scissors and trim it off. So the next thing we are going to do now, I move the camera up a little bit. The next thing we are going to do is, you know the skirt at the moment I haven't joined it. You can see how long it is. So now I'm going to join it together. I'm only joining it in one join. You only have one single joining. So now I'm bringing it together, right side to right side. I put the skirt together like this. So it becomes like as if it's two. Can you see that? So I'm going to now stitch it on the one joining. This is it here. You can see inside, wrong side. So I'm going to sew from the top of the waist band. Make sure it's meeting each other at the end. See that it's meeting each other there and it's meeting each other at the waist band. Okay, so I'm going to now stitch it. I'm going to stitch like one inches or one and a half inches in to wherever I want. I'm going to be using invisible zip. This is invisible zip. I'm going to be using an invisible zip. This that is the front you are looking at. That is the back of the invisible zip. So I'm going to be using an invisible zip. So I'm going to be sewing in one and a half inches all the way. So wherever I want this, this zip to end with loose stitch, then I'll back stitch it and then I'll use a normal stitch and stitch down. So I'm just going to put the zip up to, I'm using a long zip but I'm going to cut it. So I'm going to stitch it up to somewhere here. I'll mark the place where I want to stitch it up to with chalk. And then from here I'll stitch normal stitch down. Okay, so I'm going to do that one and a half inches in and measure it first to make sure it's correct. When you stitch your one and a half inches in, make sure you measure the waist to make sure the measurement of the waist is okay so that it's not too small for the person that is going to wear the skirt. When I get to the, where I mark the chalk, I'm going to put my stitch back to normal stitch and I'm going to back stitch to lock that place in very well. Then I'll just stitch to the end.
okay oh so that's it so i've done that so what i'm going to do now i'm going to stitch the zip i will open it out as i normally do i got um, a video on how to sew invisible zip i'll try and link the i'll put the link on top of this video in case you want to wash it because i'm going to sew the zip now so i'm going to put the zip here i normally just open it out i put the zip when i finish i lose it okay that is the easiest way i put my zip that is the very easiest way i think you should learn to do that as well it's much easier than putting it without joining it together and then when you want to unzip it one zip is longer than the other so if you try this method it's the easiest method it's quicker to do as well you just put the zip first when you finish sewing the zip you lose it and that's it okay so i'm going to sew the zip and then i'll come back and show you what i have done hello so i finished this skirt this is the finished skirt the skirt is done now so this is how it looks like i'm going to put it on the dummy so you can have a look at it very well it's a circle skirt so you can see that is very full circle and this is the waistband that's the waistband so the person can wear it either the zip at the side or the zip at the back whichever way they want to wear it so i finished it now i'm just going to do put it on the dummy so you can see how it looks like properly on the dummy okay uh, so this is a skirt this is a finish skirt on the dummy it's a low waist circle skirt because the client wanted to be low waist she didn't want it on her waist so this is how the skirt looks like the low waist skirt a circle skirt so this is the finishing of it okay guys thanks for watching if you like this video and it was helpful to you please like share comment subscribe if you haven't done so if you like what you see subscribe for more videos don't forget to click the notification bell so you get notified when i post new videos i will be posting more sewing tutorials soon so please guys subscribe 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 and i'll see you on my next video thanks bye